The A43-R is a low-cost, easy-to-use power meter that is capable of measuring from picowatts to watts. It comes supplied with a built-in rechargeable battery and a charger that is also a power supply. The A43-R power meter is compatible with all 918D series photodiode detectors as well as the A18 series photodiode detectors with the DB15 type connector option. The A43-R is also compatible with the new 919P series thermopile detectors. The A43-R is not compatible with the A18P series thermopile or the A18E series pyroelectric detectors. Setting up your A43-R power meter for operation is quick and easy. Turn on the A43-R by holding down the blue power button until the monitor screen activates. If the meter is not charged, make certain to plug in the power supply. If you find you need to backlight the monitor screen for viewing ease, briefly press the power button again to toggle between the three backlight settings. To turn the power meter off, simply hold down the power button for a few seconds. To configure the 843-R meter, begin with the zero function. Make certain the 843-R is not in an electrically noisy environment and is undisturbed. There should not be a detector connected to the meter at this time. Press the zero soft key to bring up the zeroing screen. Press the start key to begin zeroing. When zeroing has finished, press the save key. Next, choose a setting for the line voltage frequency, either 50 or 60 hertz. Choosing the correct setting removes electrical noise that may be introduced into the system, thereby increasing the accuracy of the measurements. Press the down arrow until the line frequency is highlighted. Press the enter arrow. Select the correct line voltage for your power grid. For your convenience, you can also select the correct date and time. Press the down arrow to select date and time. Press the enter arrow. Use the right arrow to select the month, day, year, hour, and minutes. Change the selected item with the down arrow. With a detector connected to the DB15 port on the 843-R power meter, both the detector and the power meter series number and last calibration date will be displayed on the main screen of the monitor. To get to the setup screen from the measurement display screen, click on the soft key button below setup. Here you will also see a list of menus. The range menu allows you to select between auto ranging and manual ranging. Select manual ranging if you know your light source power, then select the correct range for measuring that power. Select Auto Ranging if you are not certain of the power of your light source or if you will be measuring through a broad power range. The laser menu is used for setting the wavelength of the source that you will be measuring. If the wavelength you require is not listed but is within the calibrated spectral range of the detector, you can select any listed entry for editing by using the down arrow soft key and then the modify soft key. Use the right arrow and the down arrow to enter the digits for the required wavelength value. Press OK. Your newly entered wavelength will appear in the laser menu. The average menu is used to select the period of time ranging from one second to one hour, over which to average the measurements when measuring power. To set the average period, press the down arrow until the average menu is highlighted, then press the enter arrow. Use the down arrow to scroll through the time period selections until you reach the one you desire. Press OK. The time averaging function is a running average and is often used when a laser is modulating, fluctuating, or unstable. The show settings menu is used to display or not display the settings for the laser wavelength, power range, and detector model and serial numbers on the power measurement screen. Choosing a setting of yes will display these settings. Choosing a setting of no will not display these settings and will show a larger graph. The present settings will automatically be saved for the next time the 843-R is turned on. Now that your 843-R has been fully configured, it is ready to begin taking measurements.